Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. So we're going to be looking at the energies for the last week of April. Let me know if you relate in any way. And if you don't relate, leave it. It's just not yours. And that's totally fine. Okay. Let's see the general energy for you. <laughs> we have the hangman that wanted to came out of the deck. So waiting on something. Trying to get illumination about something that you care about. Also the hangman to me is the artist, the rebel of the tarot. So maybe you're a writer, a painter, an artist in any way. Uh, doesn't have to be. But to me he's the rebel of the tarot. It can also be, also be a moment of in comfort, not a big uncomfortable time. Just, you know, waiting. We're impatient about something. We want something to happen, but we're taking our time to make sure that it's done in a good way. So, okay, let's see what's up with that, Gemini. Page of Pentacles, confirming that you're working on something. You know, a, a seed has been planted. Let's put it this way. You want to create a project or you're studying for something that you know will bring you a lot of abundance in the future. So that's why maybe the hangman is the general energy. We're waiting. Uh, things are cooking. They're not ready yet. But we have a goal, we have something we want to accomplish and you might be an apprentice in a new job or you might be studying something, definitely. But you also can be in the level that you take care of apprentice. But the Page of Pentacles is the apprentice of the tarot. He is willing to learn all the time. He is not working with his ego. He's working from passion, something that really makes him happy, makes him passionate, and he wants to, yeah, he wants to plant his, the seed has been planted, he wanted to grow, but he's willing to be patient, okay, tell me more, yeah, I like that, the devil and the ten of cups, okay, so you know that to be able to accomplish this bigger goal for yourself, you're going to have to get at peace with your devil, your inner devil. I love this energy. It's not a bad energy at all. Because when we are aligned with this card, with the devil energy, we are able to indulge, to have fun, but stay balanced. And seeing the Ten of Cups here, beautiful energy. A cycle is ended. Uh, so you could be recently... A uh, single doesn't have to, but it feels like you're, you're independent right now. You're focused on a goal and no matter what happens around you within your relationship, you're still going to be focusing on that goal. And I have the page of one here to confirm everything I just said. Page of wands to me is like a star. He's like the influencer of the tarot. He knows how to do thing himself to start with something really small and make himself be seen. So I love that energy. Okay, tell me more about Gemini. We have the hangman again <laughs> and the king of cups. You have to be patient. Definitely it sucks when someone say that to you. I know. I know we don't want to be patient when we're passionate about something. I just feel like this is something you care so much about seeing the King of Cups that you are willing to wait. You might not be the most patient person usually. Uh, I feel like Gemini, when you want something, you go for it definitely. But yeah, there is a need to wait. But see the Knight of Wands. It's like you're willing to wait, but things are going to happen faster than you think. The King of Cups literally an artist again there's major artist vibes here it doesn't have to but you're creating something and it comes from you you're going to be inspiring others and we love that king of cups he has a calling something is calling him to put his work into the world and he will inspire others and i think this is what you're going to be doing yeah 
Two times the hangman? God, you're waiting on something. You're waiting to get news about a job or a project. Maybe you want to create with someone else, having a partner. It doesn't have to, but let me know in the comments below. What are you waiting for? It's not that you're waiting by choice, I feel. Uh, I think that you have to wait. I'm really curious to know. Let's pick another card. And we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So you are going to be offered something big. There's going to be finally someone answering your freaking prayers after a long period of waiting. Um, you're ready to receive this shit. Trust me. I feel like... You're willing to put in the time, the work, the effort. You have the knowledge. You're not driven by your ego in that situation. And that is what's going to be pushing you forward. You're going to feel like the, the universe is giving you a, a gift, literally. And you're not going to be taking that for granted. You're going to be doing the work that you're supposed to do. So, yes, major abundance. Oh, shit. See, <laughs> I was literally picturing the Ace of Pentacles. Um, yeah, definitely feeling like a gift from the universe and things are going to be expanding fast, definitely, because you've been patient. You've really, it's, I don't feel like it's your nature. It's not your, it's not your vibe. Usually you're like, I want things to happen fast. I want it to go quick. But in that situation, it was like, it was kind of required for you to wait but the wait is over. The wait is finally over. You're going to be getting that email, getting that confirmation that your projects are, are good. They're good to go. The seed has been planted and now it's time for it to grow. Okay, page of pentacles. Let's clarify. I'm using the Aquarian tarot deck, the Italian version. One of my favorite decks. We have the Four of Pentacles. Again, see how patient you were. The Four of Pentacles to me is a lot about, of course, boundaries. And it's a lot about our body. So, yeah, I think that for some of you, you had to really get your body, mind, and soul in alignment to be able to move to the next level. And here we have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You find balance within yourself, uh, within your love life, work life. So that's why I had a feeling, not all of you, but some of you, you either found a new partner recently that is helping you evolve, that is pushing you in the good direction. You know, someone who care for you and is really like, wow. Or some of you on the opposite side, you became single recently and you're like, I have no time for love right now. I'm focusing on my money, my business, my projects. So it's like two opposite, but I feel like there's no middle here right now. It's like you are putting yourself, your cash, your business, your goals in front of everything. But I feel like you are, you have support. People know that you are meant for greater things let's clarify the devil we have the ace of cups how beautiful is that card ace of cups again we have two aces already in this reading that popped out a brand new beginning so clarifying that some of you have a new partner there's someone new into your life or a new situation that is about love. It could be a new friend. Literally, it could be one of your friends partnering up in this project. But yeah, I feel like you met someone who is pushing you, who is literally holding your hand through this. And it's like, it's priceless. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. I love that energy. We have the Five of Pentacles. So we are slowly getting out of an uncomfortable time of waiting of being kind of afraid to ask for help. You know, literally, I'm picturing someone waiting for an email and you're like, oh, should I write back? Maybe it's been like a long time. Maybe, no. You're done questioning yourself. You're moving from the five 
into the six of pentacle, which is balance and equal give and take. You're not only going to give, give, give and feel like the universe is not giving you anything. You're going to be feeling that equal give and take. Okay, clarifying the king of cups. We have the eight of cups. So to be able to go to the next level in that passion, in that new thing that you love, you're going to have to leave something behind or you already left something behind. The Eight of Cups is not necessarily uh, moving, leaving something physically. Let's, let me give you an example. You've been doing a 9 to 5 job for 10 years. It served you. It paid your bills. You loved it at one point. You were proud and you had a lot of love for that situation, for that work. And then years pass by and you're like, you know what? I'm an artist. I'm talented. There is something more I want to offer to the world. Well, that's it. You're leaving something that you might still love and that helped you transform, help you have, you know, confidence in your work. It brought you money and stability, but it, it's not enough anymore. So you're moving out of that energy. Beautiful card. Eight of... Eight of Cups is one of my favorite cards and I grew to love it. It wasn't my favorite at first, but it became really one of my... I, I related a lot to it. Okay, Hanged Men. We have the Strained card. So this is confirming that waiting is in your... Uh, you know, patience is not your biggest quality, let's say, my love. But you worked on that. You are finally giving yourself the credit you know you deserve. So you worked on that. To me, the strain card is a lot about working on the things that you don't like about yourself, working on the things that you know you need to get better at. And I think that in that case, it was patience. Uh, you never gave up on your dreams. You never gave up, even if people around you might told you, like, this is crazy, you're not going to be able to do that, you can't quit your job, you can't... No, you never cared what other people said. And if you did care, you didn't let what they said or think, uh, what they said or thought, I'm sorry, about you, like, stop you. And that is your biggest quality. And remember to celebrate yourself for that. Remember to give yourself credit for being patient and never giving up. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. What is up with that? We have, oh, I love it, the Ten of Wands. So we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And to clarify that, the Ten of Wands. You're finally taking off your shoulders a bunch of shit that just doesn't belong to you anymore. So maybe in the past you were taking other people's problem on your shoulders. Uh, you got drained out in a situation and now you're like, you know what? I'm putting myself first. I'm not available at the moment to help everyone around me. I have to put my project and my business first. And you're going to be learning to be a little selfish. You know, and that's totally fine. Being selfish is not bad. It's important and it takes so many years for humans to understand how to get selfish, especially when you want to get that cash, you want to get to that next level in your business. Yeah, 10 of wands. Give some of these wands to someone else. If it doesn't belong to you, leave it. That's it. Because you're going into a new beginning, definitely. I'm obsessed with that reading. Okay. Let's pick an advice for you to end this reading. Thank you so much if you're watching till the end. I adore you. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you relate in any way to that reading. What is that thing that you're passionate about? I want to know what is your talent. What does Gemini need to know? We have believe in the impossible. Listen, do you want me to be... How can it be more literal than that? People around you, they thought you were crazy for believing that you're gonna, you know... I am I want to say get rich. It's not about being rich. <laughs> it could be. 
but being rich in all the ways. You know your talents, you know what you have to offer, and you're not letting anyone stop you, and you're a badass for that. I respect you. Gemini, beautiful energy. Let me know if you relate. Good job if you were patient, you were willing to wait. It was uncomfortable, but you're slowly getting out of that uncomfort. So keep on pushing for your dreams. I know it's cheesy, but I don't care. Okay, Gemini, take care. And in a couple of days, I'll be back with your soulmate reading. Okay, bye-bye.